What's up guys, Snup back with another video and today we're going to be creating some classes. I think I've played about 14 days worth of Black Ops 3 so far so I have a pretty good knowledge of what works and what doesn't work in this game. First we gotta delete all my classes, these are just random little classes I've used trying to test new stuff out. Alright, so we have all of those deleted. I'm not going to start with S&D. Um, these are going to be pub classes, so don't take these for competitive. A lot of the attachments that I put in here you can't use in competitive, such as high caliber, stuff like that. So these are just pub classes. So I'm going to start out with my VMP, quick draw, grip. We're going to slap on overkill and put the M8 on. This is just a TDM, TDM class. We're going to put high caliber, a reflex sight. Then we're going to put Ghost on, or Sixth Sense. We're going to go with Sixth Sense just because I kind of want them running at me. Get more kills that way. Then we're going to put Fast Hands, Blast Suppressor. We're going to suit this thing up here. Let's put on War Torn. And I made this cool little NASA emblem that I usually like to put on it. This is uh, dinosaurs and a volcano. When I first started using paint, I thought it would be funny. But we're going to stick with the NASA. It looks pretty clean. And then, yeah, that is my first class. This is just a really good one for TDM that you just kind of run around and destroy people with. So that's the first one. Get this one all diamonded up. Green wall, let's go. Optic Gaming. And that's class number one that I use most often. All right, so for the next one, we're going to do my Assault Rifle TDM class. This is going to be Reflex Sight, Quick Draw, and High Caliber. We're going to go with Six Sense again. Actually, let's go with Ghost with the Assault Rifle. It's a little easier when when you don't want people running up in your face. And then we're going to go Blast Suppressor, Fast Hands, RK5 Backup, as usual. I love this gun. This, this is ridiculous. I could use the RK5 as a primary almost. And then we're going to put a nade. Let's put a frag. Just for those random god nades. Or if you know where they are. I mean, I guess they don't have to be random. I like to use the combat axe, but it's not unlocked right now. And then we will put on quick draw on the RK5. Just because I have an extra slot, I don't really use concussions that much. Laser sight is really nice, but not not necessary for the RK5. Usually I'm aiming down sights anyways. So that's going to do it for my M8 class. Moving right along into my next class. This is the most fun class. This is probably the class I've put the most hours in with. Uh, this is going to be my VMP sniper class. I go quick draw, grip, and long barrel. So I can basically use the VMP at any distance using that. And Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's put the long barrel back on. And then we're going to put on the Locus because I absolutely love that gun. I, I think I have like 5,000 kills with the Locus, which isn't a lot. But for someone who's not a sniper, it's a solid amount. Uh, put on rapid fire. Actually, no, I'm not going to put any on because I only have three more slots. I'm going to run ghost. I'm going to run fast hands. And I'm going to run blast suppressor. You can pick something other than blast suppressor if you're not going to be running around. But I think it's pretty necessary. And then we will put on the diamond camo. We'll put on the kill counter. And we will do the same for the VMP. So they match. Slap on my little green wall paint there. So yeah, this is the class I probably enjoy the most just because I love getting random snipes. Feels good. Okay, for the next class, we're going to make a hardpoint class. You can use it for domination, but it's more specifically for hardpoint. Um, so we're going to go with the VMP like normal. Slap on grip, slap on quick draw. The only two necessary items for the VMP in my opinion. I'm going to go with six cents because I really don't give a shit if people know where I'm going to be coming from. They already know where I'm shooting from anyways because I don't run suppressor so it doesn't really matter to me. I'll just try to mow them down when they come. Slap double trophies on there just because I love to sit in the hill and just rack up the points. Um, and then I'll throw a Semtex on there I guess. Usually it'll be a frag but we'll go with Semtex this time. And of course RK5 backup, blast suppressor, fast hands, and yeah like I said six cents. So this will be my normal hardpoint class. Okay, on to the sniper class. One of my favorite classes to play with. Locus, obviously. Fuck all the other snipers. Ballistic CPU, you can do. I always do rapid fire. Sometimes I do full metal jacket if I'm, you know, playing like Nuketown or something and I want to wallbang. Usually ballistic CPU is a solid choice. 
Then we're going to slap it up with diamonds and rubies. Get the kill counter on. And then I'm going to go with ghost with the sniper for obvious reasons. And then fast hands. You can go hardwired if you want to just because you're not always going to be running and gunning. But the way I play, I pretty much am always running and gunning. So I'll slap on fast hands and blast suppressor. RK5 backup, obviously. That thing shreds people. And then I'll throw a trip mine just to kind of throw behind me in a doorway or something as I run along. Usually I'm halfway across the map and I get a kill. And then I have one extra attachment. Put on the extended mags. And yeah, sharpshooter looks pretty cool. So we'll go with that one. And then that's the sniper class. Just your standard quick scoping class. All right, S and D, my favorite part. I love S and D. So I go grip, quick draw, VMP, and then sometimes I'll go with a thermal backup on a locus just so I can kind of spot people. Usually rock and ghost. Sometimes six cents, but usually ghost. Um, sometimes I run hardwired now because I can usually pull my gun up faster than most of them anyways. And I hate getting killed by C4. And then. Oftentimes I'll even take off my perk too and just run dead silence and tack mask because I think they're more important than anything in perk 2. Perk 2 is kind of weak actually in my opinion, but some people think it's super powerful so kind of depends on what you want to do. And then I'll throw on a concussion usually and a frag. I like to throw up just random god nades and hope they hit. And then my backup RK5 as per usual. And I'll slap another concussion on here just because I have one extra slot. And yeah, that's my VMP S and D class. This is the one I use like 90% of the time. And it works really well for me, so try it out. Alright, next we are going to be making my VMP Locus S and D class. Because with the infrared scope or the thermal scope, obviously you can see their heat signatures. I like to put the stage fright on there. It's just, I don't know why, it's just a cool, cool reticule. And then I'm gonna put ghost. I'm going to put hardwired. Now I'll go fast hands. And then uh, dead silence and a nade. And then this would be, this is probably my most used S&D class actually. That's gonna do it for the video today guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Any feedback you guys give me is greatly appreciated, especially the likes. This was kind of fun. It was a different video than what I'm used to. So, like I said, if you liked it, leave a comment, let me know, and I'll make more. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm out. Peace.